an ordinary allotment is pretty dangerous for someone with dementia. To make the place safe we would have to have raised beds and we would need a continuous path and we would need access for wheelchairs. That's when we apply to Life Changes Trust. Sometimes when I get a wee bit anxious, I'll say it, Richard, we'll go to the allotment today and you just need to come in that gate. And we come in the winter and we sit in there and we have a wee blather. We feel a lot better. We, we used to come here when it was just getting, it was just, you know, it, it wasn't even all built up. And see a picture like this now, what a transformation, it's brilliant. People are now stopping in the street and saying, do you go to that allotment? When can I come down and see it? It's, it's really a, a lovely, quiet, peaceful place to come. Without the Life Changes Trust funding, we would not be here where we are today. It would have taken much longer. I've got, I've got Alzheimer's, but I'm not going to spoil my life. I'm going to fight this illness as long as I can. I've got an illness, but I'm living with it. Our project is called Geet Laude, um, and it's been running for about a year now. It's basically a mixture of music, conversation and dance. And we like to think that we've made the full building into a dementia friendly community so that whenever anybody, anybody walks through the door that they know that this is a really a safe place and a happy place. I enjoy every part of it, from start to finish. And the fact that you're seeing different people when you come in and you know, everybody sort of speaks to you when you come in. Yeah, you're made very, you're made very welcome. welcome. They're really lovely, they're very loving and they're full of fun and it lifts you up. Singing and dancing, that you can get saving people who are less mobile. They can get up and just shake, I suppose. Some who are not very mobile, but they still like to dance and sing. Some days you're feeling a wee bit down and the usually it starts, up you go. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And we just find that in Gate Laude people leave and they feel really energised and they tell us that you know, this is their life now, this means so much to us. Um, and we can't really ask for, for any more than that. You connect so deeply with these people and there's so much love in the room on a Tuesday afternoon and it's just, it's just an, an amazing environment to be in and it's something that you don't want to leave, you don't want it to be half past three. Life Changes Trust Charity is crucial to the development of this project. We couldn't do what we do every week without it. The idea behind the project is strongly based on promoting can-do philosophy, so rather than focusing on dementia, we focus on person uh, more than dementia diagnosis, focusing on what people are still capable of doing, not on what they are not able to do. We think that art has amazing power and brings different benefits to people with dementia. It's a system we have where you can paint whatever you want to do and uh, you just thoroughly enjoy it. And when I'm finished, I can go home quite happy that I have done, I've accomplished something. I don't do any painting, but I can see the effect on Robert. He's, as he says, he feels he has achieved something. Um, and he's given the opportunity to achieve something because everything is done to guide you towards that. People from the community can easily pop in and get professional access and advice on dementia from our dementia experts, which is so important for the community, I have to say. I just really 
really enjoy it. I was never good at art at school and when I retired I wanted to do something that I hadn't done before. I just feel so encouraged and I feel my art is getting better. I started this painting when I, I was here and thoroughly enjoyed doing it and I accomplished quite a bit getting exactly what I wanted and it looked real. Putting the frame on the painting makes such a difference to them. As you can see the ones down below have no frames on them but they look so much better with a frame on them. I feel I've made a lot of friends in the walking group, which is really nice. And it's quite a social occasion, and we have tea and coffee afterwards, and we just have a really nice time and chat. With a group, with a, that social interaction, they can feel very, very safe and benefit from the walk. I feel I'm putting something back into the community by leading the walks even on Boxing Day and, and New Year's Day um, that I've walked most, most Fridays since it started. We've had some, an introductory session on dementia friendly walking groups and we'll have further training um, in the autumn sometime. I think it's the company and friendship. I mean, I personally wouldn't go for a walk by myself, but you know, when it's a set time every week, I just made up my mind that I would walk rain, hail or shine. Aberdeen FC Community Trust are the football club's partner charity with a vision to provide support and opportunity to help change life for the better. We now run 57 programmes and initiatives. We engage over 12,000 people a year and um, cover about 300 mile radius. Just about everybody we speak to has somebody that they know has got an association with dementia. Even my father was recently diagnosed. And just having that open discussion, but in a safe environment like a football stadium is just one of those situations that makes it easy. We engage with people with dementia and their carers every week. Um, and every session we run, we, we always ask the people what they, what they liked, what they didn't like, and use a, a variety of creative methods to, to get that feedback in an appropriate manner. Um, so they're always included, they're always asked um, what they want to do, how they want to do it and what it means to them um, so we ensure that it's meaningful activity that they're taking part in regardless if you've got dementia or a carer or simply a participant who comes along to get fitter and healthier as well. We're a happy family here at AFC Community and we really, we want to get out there and let people know the fun that we have, the places we go, the things we do. We would have never dreamt in 2013 that we have been doing the things that we've done. I can only see it growing. Dementia is an issue that's affecting everyone more and more each day. Um, I think the support's required from every community across Scotland and I can only see it um, challenging stigma and, and be, people will be more and more aware of the issue of dementia and, and the carers. Um, and the way I see it is more and more people being inclusive and accepting of, of those with dementia being involved in their own lo local community.